Fun fact, a ton has three different values. In the UK, a ton is equal to 2,240 pounds. In the US, a ton is equal to 2,000 pounds. And a metric ton is equal to 2,205 pounds. Hey everyone, I have another knife review for you today. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Kershaw Half Ton, which you see right in front of you. Alright, I've had this knife uh, for about three weeks now. Uh, this was generously given to me by Mr. Jimbo Fox on our Force Multiplier Range Day. I just want to say thanks, man. I really, really appreciate it. It's a great little knife, um, and I really enjoy using it. So, thank you. Alright, so... I really want to jump right into this review. There's a lot to talk about just with this little knife. Um, so let's get started. All right, so first off, I have been carrying this knife uh, for two weeks. Uh, I carried it a little bit different than I usually do. Um, I am trying a new EDC system. So for the first week, I just carried it normally in my pocket on my person like I usually do. And for the second week, I actually carried it in the new EDC system, which I'll be showing you guys uh, shortly. So I just wanted to test it out in both both uses and see how it performed. Alright, so first off, it has a 2.5 inch long um, 8 CR13 MOV blade. Alright, the blade steel is decent. Um, I really don't have any complaints other than that the edge retention um, is, in my opinion, close to like OS 8 um, or even a 440C, um, where it's going to need to be resharpened every so often. Um, I've used this relatively uh, hard, and I'll uh, demonstrate that later. Um, so it, it's done well with holding its edge, although it probably would need to be touched up, um, you know, in the near future. All right, as you can see, it is a nice, short, and stout blade. All right, uh, it's, a, it's a big blade for the small package that it comes in, um, with an overall length of 6 and 1 8 inches long. Okay, the weight is 3.2 ounces, which I think is um, a little bit heavy for the size knife it is. Um, but really, it, you can't really uh, beat it with, with, with the size. Alright, the handle material is a glass reinforced nylon with a Santa Prime insert. Alright, it's just like a hard rubber insert. Um, it does provide nice traction, um, especially the bottom three fingers when you're gripping the knife. It really allows to, them to grab on and, and secure your hand. So that, it does its job. And it's not sticky or anything, so it, it's, it's convenient. All right, on the rear, you have a wrench style pocket clip, which is pretty neat. Kind of goes with the whole half ton theme. All right, the wrench is not functional; it's just there as an aesthetic appeal, and it, it looks it does look pretty cool. All right, pocket clip is great except for the fact that you can't um, reverse it or swap it for left hand side carry. So, as with most Kershaws, which I think is one of the, one of the only downsides to the Kershaw line is the inability to switch the pocket clip. So you're stuck with a right hand side carry tip down with this guy. So all lefties are kind of out of luck unless you uh, don't look to be attaching this to your pocket. Alright, so you deploy the knife with uh, thumb studs. It is ambidextrous. You do have one on the right and the left, which to me is kind of, you know, not necessary, especially if you're only going to do a right hand side pocket clip. Um, but anyway, it comes out nice and fast. This is just a manual knife. Uh, it's just so smooth. It just flies open. And there's no resistance whatsoever. It's extremely smooth. All right, and and lockup is perfect. Up and down, nothing side to side, nothing. And and I did have used this quite a bit, um, so I'm very impressed with the lockup. All right, it is a liner lock, and it does lock up nice and early, so you don't um, you don't have a problem there. All right, the liner has this lip on it, and I'm going to bring you guys in closer to, to show you. It has this little lip that allows your thumb to get a nice chunk of liner and push it over in order to close the blade. So it's, it's very nice, easy to access, um, simple controls. All right. So you have a little row of jimping on here in the uh, glass fold nylon handle. It, it's not um, amazing, but it does give your thumb some traction. I think most of the grip or secureness from is coming from this choil here. It really does a good job of locking your, your front two fingers in 
and not, not going anywhere. Alright, a lot of what adds the weight to this knife is the full steel liners. Um, for a knife this small, you're not going to be using it for really anything heavy duty. You know, me, I use it for uh, opening letters and cutting through some cardboard, um, some rope. Um, you know, that's pretty much the extent of this guy's use, in my opinion. But having those full steel liners just gives it, you know, extra added reinforcement, makes it a little bit st sturdier, and gives it some weight to it. Um, in my opinion, small knives aren't necessarily a bad thing when they have weight, um, because, you know, I want to know that they're still in my pocket. So, that added reinforcement is, is nice. Alright, it does have an adjustable pivot there, so if, if you wanted to adjust it, I haven't had to, but it is nice to have an option. Alright, so overall, great little knife. You know, really has performed well. Alright, I want to give you guys a quick size comparison between this Kershaw half ton here and a couple of other items that you might, uh, you know, the size of. So first off, I'm going to compare it to uh, my Sog Flash 1, simply because a lot of people know about it. Alright, so you can see, uh, lengthwise, the Sog Flash 1 is just a tiny bit um, shorter than the Kershaw half ton. Now, you know, width-wise, the half ton is almost double the size. Um, but that's just a little size comparison for you guys. Alright, something else. Um, for the closed length is my Streamlight MicroStream. You can see that they're pretty much exactly the same length, but again, thickness is, you know, again, double. So that's just a quick size comparison for you. Alright, now for some cutting tests. First off, we're going to do a paper cutting test here, alright, and then we can do some cardboard later, alright. Here we go. Now onto the cardboard. Eats it up all day, and this hasn't been sharpened since I uh, got it from Jimbo. So really a good job. Um, can't complain. Um, nice edge holding capabilities. So final thoughts on the Kershaw Half Ton. Uh, it's a great knife. Uh, no doubt about it. It's it's one of the inexpensive. Uh, but high quality EC knives that you can get out there for 10 to $15, you really can't beat it. For, you know, ease of opening, you know, speed, how smooth it is, um, size and weight and cost, it's going to be really hard to beat. So anybody who's interested in a Kershaw Half Ton, and even someone who's on the fence, um, for 10 to $15, you know, go for it, and I guarantee you, you'll like it. If not, then, you know, it's a good... A uh, knife just to beat up on and to use if you don't want to, you know, use a more expensive one. All right, so thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.